One TMNT bad guy would totally cringe at their Mutant Mayhem version. So, in the movie, Baxter Stockman seems kind of similar to his original cartoon self. But if we put him next to his comic book counterpart, he's almost like a whole different person. In Mutant Mayhem, Baxter is this scaredy cat scientist who's freaked out by some big company and spends most of his time hiding. He messes with the mutagen ooze to cure his loneliness. But in the comics, oh boy, he's a genius scientist and businessman who's got zero morals. He's super easy evil manipulates both Krang and Shredder and even becomes the mayor of New York. The movie Baxter is nothing like the comic book version who's always ahead of the game, surviving even god level stuff. So looking at how the movie turned Baxter into this weak character, I bet comic book Baxter would be shaking his head. In Mutant Mayhem, Baxter's not even the big bad, he's the creator of Superfly, the main villain, and sort of a father figure to him. And when he dies early in the movie, it's just to pump up Superfly's revenge story and make him the real deal villain.